Hello Book Explorers, April's Book of the Month is the hilariously awesome I really, really need a wee. So let's get to it. Here are our top tips for a superb shared read with your child. Our first top tip for reading this book might be obvious, but actually it makes a huge difference. In short, you need to pretend that you really, really need a wee when you read this book. When you get a chance to pull over, <laughs> children find it hilarious and you'll find that if you pretend that you need a wee and you're looking uncomfortable and you can't sit still when you read the book, then this will hook your child straight into the read. Try it like, oh, I need to fix something else to make the feeling go. A twig, a nut, a waterfall. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I really, really, really need a wee. Put on the act and you'll find your voice will naturally fit the character telling the story. Along with the first top tip, this second one works with it perfectly. And the Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. That is to mirror the facial expressions of the Galago in the book as you act out with your child. I always use them as a cue to know what face I can pull when I share this story with my daughter, and she loves it. I don't want to get too rude, but towards the end, when the animal finally reaches the toilet, you'll see a close-up of his relief face when he can finally go. I make the noise and pretend that I'm actually going. I always play around at the end by stopping and starting the sound again and again. Give it a go and see how you get on. Three, we're pitching it. What are you, a camel? <laughs> it's silly, but trust us, it does work. Our final top tip is about the pacing and the way to deliver saying bye to the bear. The Galago in the story finds a bush to go behind, but then stumbles across a bear who chases him. What I love about this book is the way that the, the Galago um, sends the bear flying away from him, deliver it in a rhythm. Hmm, maybe I can lose the bear by climbing really high. There isn't room for both of us. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Goodbye. Vary your voice on the uh-oh and then look at your child as you do it you will then get a laugh from them, I'm pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> That's all from us. We hope that you love our book of the month just as much as we do and that you have a great success with reading it with your child. Remember, as always, if you like our videos and you want to access more content, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're new to us, then please do check out our exciting book subscriptions for children on our website at www.letsgoread.co.uk. But for now, we hope that our top tips have given you the inspiration to turn to your child tonight and to say those three magic words. Let's go read. Thanks for watching.